Greetings guitar lovers, it's Lindsay Petch here from Maple Street Guitars, and today we thought it would be a lot of fun to compare three of our favorite Martin models in the store, but also use that as an opportunity to demonstrate the difference between uh, body shapes, in particular with respect to soundboard size and the impact that has on tone. So without further ado, we're going to get into a comparison of a 0028, a 0028, and then the M36, which is also a known as a quadruple O body size. So double O, triple O, quadruple O, let's see what you think. One of the things that I like to stress to customers here in the store when we're discussing the impact of guitar design on tone is that the guitar is fundamentally like a drum. In fact, it kind of is a percussion instrument at heart in that the top of a guitar is a vibrating membrane that is amplifying string energy as it's transmitted through the bridge. And so in this regard, you can think about a guitar just like a drum head. If you have a smaller bodied guitar, or in particular smaller soundboard template, I should say, that will correlate to a smaller drum, and therefore usually will have a brighter, perhaps more penetrating tone, and certainly more prominent mid-range and treble. It's not necessarily weaker, but of course if we increase the soundboard template, what we do expect to hear uh, in the bigger guitars is more low end, perhaps a richer and kind of darker low mid range and certainly more bass. And this is why uh, a, an OM or a double O uh, can actually still be a very powerful guitar, but certainly a very different experience than playing a big boomy dreadnought or a jumbo. So again, in today's exercise, we hope you will hear some of the differences between these sound boards. And again, note that they're not necessarily um, so different in terms of their output, just the different shape to their sound, a different kind of frequency response. So uh, again, we'll be listening to a double O, a triple O, and a quadruple O. Hope you enjoy the video, and here we go. Going from smallest to largest, let's listen to each guitar strummed. We'll start with the double O 28. <laughs> Now the triple O twenty eight. Finally, let's listen to the quadruple O 36 or M36. Now let's give them each a try played finger style in standard tuning. Thank you. 
Finally, let's give each guitar a try in a drop D tuning just to experiment with what the soundboard might do with a little less tension on it. I find on small body guitars this can often be very revealing about the guitar's capabilities in some less common applications. So once again, this has been Lindsay Petch here at Maple Street Guitars with a demonstration of three incrementally larger soundboard templates. In this case, all three guitars had similar tone woods, Sitka spruce tops and Indian rosewood back and sides, and they were all the same make, Martins. So hopefully this was about as good a comparison as we can achieve to demonstrate uh, the difference and impact of the soundboard size uh, with a controlled group of guitars. We really hope you enjoyed the video, but if you have any other questions about these instruments, please don't hesitate to give us a call or find us on the web at maplestreetguitars.com.